Hey guys, Captain Walnut back with another AF Beast episode. Factions, PvP, base raiding. That's what we do on the server. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So, today I'm actually going to build something for you on camera. I know, shocking. I never build stuff on camera. But today we are, and it's going to be technical too. Burma Gersh. Woo! Let's see. <laughs> didn't even use the elevators. I have the elevators there, but I just didn't use them. Whatever. Um. Yeah, so you can see here that we're, I've got the tower sort of finished a little bit. Uh, I got a ceiling put on with a little circle. It looks cool. Um, and then the tower itself going up sort of flush, like sort of blending into the ceiling. Um, if I morph into a blaze, we could go up there and check it out. Um, yeah, and then I brought in some animals. So I get that pastoral effect I was talking about and set up some farms. I'm actually liking not how stark and like laid out these farms are like so square and geometric and stuff i want to have more of like a free form floor floor down here with like paths and random stuff all over the place so i'll be uh, ripping this out soon and putting in something a little bit more you know random which is not not what i usually do so it's going to be leaving my comfort zone um yeah so what am i going to do today what am i going to do today i don't even know do you know viewers what am i doing yeah what I'm going to do is, so last time we were here, you saw that I had a little, you know, 3x3 three three, uh, square set up right here in the middle of this tower with uh, five of these autonomous activators set up to kill things. They um, That was working, but I didn't have it set up to recharge. So what we're going to do today is build the thing that actually makes it automatically recharge. So I've built an example over here. Um... This is what it's going to end up looking like. I made a brand new program to actually use it. Uh, whoa, it's been cycling a lot. So um, basically what this thing does is it checks. It, it uses open peripherals. Oh, I took the devices out. Herp a derp. Oh, well. Um, yeah, so basically what it's going to do is it's looking at the devices in each top left corner here, which obviously there is none right now, um, but eventually there will be. Uh, in that one over there so and it uses open peripherals to check their charge level um, uses some commands from open peripherals that allows you to access NPT data and then ow why'd you hurt me um, it, it allows you to access the MBT data of the individual items and then I can use that to look to get the charge and stuff like that I won't actually go into that code until the end of the video because I know some of you guys don't like that. So at the end of the video, I'll open up a Lua editor so we can actually look at the code without it looking all disgusting like it does when we look at it here in this little screen. Um, but yeah, so we'll get into that later. And then it sends it into these autonomous activators. It basically says, okay, autonomous activator, send stuff into the energetic infuser. And then when the energe energetic infuser is done, it sends it down into the pipes down here. And then um, since there's, you know, dirt, and a device in each one of these, there will only be one device that has an open slot and it'll move over to that device. If two devices get emptied at the same time, it's okay if the tools get swapped between the two of them because they're all the same tool and I don't really care. All right, well, let's uh, go ahead and get into the actual building. Um, this is actually pretty cool. I've done a lot of experiments about how certain devices work um, in the background. So let's, uh, let's start out with the vacuum hopper shall we uh, yeah let's start out with that um, vacuum hopper awesome so what's pretty cool about the vacuum hopper is it actually does not need um, to be open to the, it can suck things through some blocks it can suck items through micro blocks is really what I'm trying to say there um, so well that's never gonna work I want to access it from this side. So I want to say that I want to put, oh gosh, okay. These fans are going to be very annoying to work with and work around. Um, can I grab the hopper from here without getting, no. Okay, I'll try it. I'll try to do it from here. Okay, so if this is the front side, right? That's the top, that's the front. If I rotate around like that, I want items to come out the back. Okay, great. That's the top, that's the front. If I rotate around like that, I want XP to go out the back. Did that work? Don't hurt me. Yes, that worked. Items at the bottom, XP at the back. So basically what I'm going to do here is I can have, a t I'm having a temporary setup for liquid XP. Um, 
where I can have the liquid XP go down to these tanks. Let's turn that to that, turn that to a servo, and put that on ignored so it's always sucking out of the hopper. All right, so now we hook up the fluid ducts, which I don't know if the fluid ducts are going to need. I don't think, oh my gosh, these fans, these fans pushing me around are so annoying. Okay, so if I just go up there and place that one, and then I can place that one there, and that one there, and then I can go up over there. Place it. There we go. It connected. Yay! <laughs> I'm not sure if I need to change that, so I'm going to I'm going to do it anyway. Um change no change. Grr. These fans, man. These fans. These are why I don't usually build things on camera because I just get so frustrated sometimes. All right. Here we go. Oh, oh I almost had it. And here we here we here we flip it. Ah. Oh, flip it. No. Flip it. Yeah. Ah, oh, I thought I had it. I'm trying to change that to an output. Eh. Eh. Yes, I did it. And then we put pneumatic servo on it, and then we grab it, and then ignore, and yes, I finally did it. Awesome. Okay. So what I was trying to say a while ago was that no, I don't didn't want to do that. They don't belong there. Okay, that's gonna get sucked up. That's fine. There and there. Awesome. There we go. These vacuum hoppers can actually suck items down through these microblock covers, which is really cool. So give me that back. Okay. And you can see here that basically what's going to happen is XP is going to get sucked down into here. And that'll be awesome. So that way I can just grab here, grab some liquid XP whenever I need it. There's a limited size storage because I'm not going to need that much. And then the majority of it will go be turned into mob essence by a sewer. So let's actually do that sewer now. Grab that. Probably need... Yeah, more fluid ducts. I think that's good. So let's put the sewer right there. This is going to be a lot easier. And then I just connect these three pipes like that. And boom. Yeah. That was so much easier that time. <laughs> and then I just put a cover on it. And all right. That worked. That was that was a lot easier than that thing. Oh, no. It's sucking sewage out of me. No. Well, that's why I have it hooked up there. How much sewage is in there? Only 209. Okay. Yeah, that's the one annoying thing about these sewers is they uh, do kind of what they sound like. They suck sewage up. So if I stand within its range, if I stand like right here, you'll probably be able to see sewage going down there every now and again, um, which is annoying because it pulls sewage out of a player. So that's why whenever I... Uh, so whenever you get in there to work on stuff, it pulls sewage out of you, which can clog up your pipes, which is why you need a little sewage drum to make sure that sewage doesn't get clogged up in your pipes. All right, so let's grab these two computers because I already have them programmed and I don't feel like changing the program. Boom, did I grab it? Where'd it go? Computer, oh, it's up there. Phew, scared me for a second there. Okay, so which one of these is, this was the north one, I believe. So that one's gonna go right over there. Great, awesome, good job. And this one, is going to go right over, uh, if I can back up enough, there. Perfect. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to grab the autonomous activators and these guys, and might as well just grab it all. I'll put these in last, and I'll put those in later. Okay. So now I want to put the energetic infusers down. You can see that I have an output on the side of this autonomous activator already. <sighs> these fans. These fans, I tell you what, man. Backing up, back, back it up. Oh, okay, if I stand on here, maybe I can do it. If I back up like that, yes, I got it. Okay, and if I back up like this, perfect, awesome. All right, so we want this guy to have inputs on every side except the bottom and the top. We want the bottom to be an output, the top to have nothing. So change that to an output, change that to an input, change that to nothing. Awesome. Perfect. Okay. Whew. <laughs> and then, what's the next step? Actually, no, those are, sorry to break these out already, but uh, those got pulled in by the autonomous, or not the autonomous, the vacuum hopper. Um, so now the next step is two. That's one. That's, two. nope. Two. Oh, darn it, that's what I didn't want to happen. Can I change that with the wrench? 
Please select it. There we go. Good, I can change it with a wrench. Phew! And then we make that face out the top. Perfect. And now I need this one back. And I bet you the vacuum hopper is going to get it before I do. No, I got it. Yay! And then we'll change that with the wrench. Alright, so basically why I want to do these before I did the Atomos activator is I have to make sure that these are uh, these are inputs and the bottoms are... No, the bottoms are inputs and the sides are outputs. So, um, does that work? No, does that work? No, does that work? Yes. Okay, so these are outputs. Bottom is an input. Okay. Nope. Nope. Is it really going to be that easy? Is it all going to be... Oh, nope. Okay. That side? Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's make sure this one's correct. Ah, first try. Yay. And so this one should probably be the bottom, yeah? Yes. <laughs> Figured it out in the end. Alright, let's go down here. Go into this chest. Grab the energy confusers back. And then we'll try to do this again, shall we? <laughs> and... Boom, and boom, perfect. And we get rid of that, turn that to an input, turn that to an output, perfect. Get rid of that, turn that to an input, turn that to an output, perfect. Let's make sure it's go down to the bottom. Please go down to the bottom. Please go down. There we go. And yep, output, output, input, input. Great. Okay. So now I just boom, 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 boom. Let's go ahead and turn those to outputs. I do not need pneumatic servos there because the energetic infusers will automatically output it down to the pipe below it. And then one there. Great. So now those are all connected up the way they should be. Um, let's go ahead and grab... Where is it? There we go. Let's go ahead and grab these guys. And this is going to be annoying. I think I can just click it like that. Did that connect? It sure did. Okay, we'll bring these down like this. Okay, perfect, perfect. And we'll go ahead and bring it over one. And then we shall, which way is north? That way is north. So I want to face south. And this, there's no real, maybe I want to face south. Who knows if the fans ever let me do anything by myself ever again. Oh my gosh, they're pushing me around so much, guys. This is so frustrating. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to place it. I don't care if it's facing the way I want it to face, for prettiness sake. Oh, it is facing. Hooray! Alright, so the left and rights are outputs. That should go back to that. That is, and everything else is inputs. Great. Left and right output. Everything else inputs. Not connected to the top. Perfect. Um, eventually, there will be a tesseract here in replace, in, instead of this uh, resonant energy cell, and there'll be these pipes Let's let's look. Let's walk away from it and p point to it from a distance instead of getting right up and having it get right in our faces. Okay, so the item duct coming down from the vacuum hopper, the things that's going to collect all the drops from the mobs, will instead of going down into this temporary system, will turn left directly into a tesseract. Same thing with this guy from the sewer. We'll go directly into the um, this guy into the tesseract. That's going to be replaced by a tesseract. Um, so that way it'll output energy. I'll um, have to change the piping there so it's not connecting to the Tesseract because I don't want those to connect to the Tesseract. And then I'll leave this one here to come down and give me some liquid XP um, for whenever I need it. So yeah, great. That, uh, that worked, I guess. Um, let's fly back up to the top and put down some covers to finish up the prettification process. And actually, I'm going to need these too, aren't I? these guys. Cleavers. Give me them all. That was weird. Go back up to the top. And if I could ever use an elevator correctly. So eventually these elevators are going to be encased by like um, a little tower that's sort of shoved into the corner. Obviously, It's not going to be nearly as big as that. It's going to be a radius just big enough to sort of cover up these elevators with some glass and stuff and make it look all cool and fancy. Stuff like that. Just as a way to get up and down between all my levels. And then this floor here I'm going to be covering up with glass and all that other stuff too. Um, so okay, let's go down here. First things first is let's make sure we get situated nicely. Alright, so let's place that on the side of there, that on the side of there. Awesome. So now this vacuum hopper, I think, which way is this? 
the vacuum hopper should be yes to the south the vacuum hopper over here um can suck things up in a three by or a, yeah three by three radius or it, it can suck things up up from three blocks away there we go so i guess that would be three six seven a seven by seven radius um so it can th suck things up from all the way over here but if any drops land like over there from the mobs dying, that's okay because these fans will blow the drops in towards the middle again and then they'll be able to suck it up again. Uh, same thing with the sewer. The sewer has a bigger radius just because of the upgrade I put in it. But the same thing will happen. The fans will push the XP in towards the middle and then the sewer will suck it in as well as the vacuum hopper. Um, but once those liquid XP tanks are filled, then I don't have to worry about that anymore. I don't have to worry about the vacuum hopper sucking up some of the XP. Of course, I could just not have any pipes, any liquid pipes attached to the vacuum hopper and it wouldn't suck up any XP at that point but um, since I do want some liquid XP that's why I have it that way all right so let's change all these to top left to first slot only and left click first slot only left click first slot only left click did you see that chicken what are you doing chicken are you no you're not actually in here you're just lagging to the wall I guess he's getting pushed around by the fan first slot only left click oh I did that one that was only three, I thought. So did I miss this one? I guess I got all of them. All right, that one. First slot only, left click. And then what I want to do is let's put dirt in all these slots. This is just to prevent two tools um, from getting, whoa, I'm getting 10 frames per second all of a sudden. What's happening? 12, 10, 12 frames per second. Oh, well, that's okay. I can survive. Um, that the, the dirt is here just to prevent two tools from winding up in the same autonomous activator because uh, the way I have the program written, the second tool would never be checked and it would never get pulled out again. Okay, well, goodbye, dirt. Did I just make... Did that just make a liar out of me? Why did the vacuum hopper not suck up that dirt? That's not good. I thought I tested all this stuff before. Uh-oh. Well, let's uh, let's finish loading all these up and make sure it works. I'm not gonna put the um, these things in yet. Why, if I throw dirt around? Yeah, what? Since when? Since when, vacuum hopper? All right, let's do it this way. If we get rid of that. When did that get changed? Ow! Good thing I don't have the cleavers in there. When did that get changed? That didn't used to be like that. Uh-oh, guys. Um, hmm, okay. Well, I said I was gonna build stuff on camera, and I guess that means the debugging process as well, huh? So it used to be, okay, if I throw stuff over there, the fans blow it in towards the middle. Is the vacuum hopper full? I don't think the vacuum hopper's full. No, it's got nothing in it. So, what could possibly be going on here? If these fans weren't pushing me around, I tell you what, man. If I build up some resonance and then hey -ya! Okay, awesome. <laughs> if I put blocks here, they get sucked up by the vacuum hopper. That's great. If I put blocks over here, they get blown in towards the middle, and they do not get sucked up by the vacuum hopper. They just sit on top of that computer. Why are they doing that? Do I need to move that computer? That really sucks. Okay, so to clarify, before when I had a solid block where that computer was, and the vacuum hopper where it is right now, and then the cover where I had it before, it didn't care. But now that it's I have that replaced with the computer, it doesn't seem to want to cooperate. So let's, uh, all right, I'm turning you back to right click, so that way you don't hurt me anymore. Okay, so let's, uh, this is the south, southern computer, right? Yeah. So if I get rid of that, and if I replace that with a block, you're going to make a liar out of me? You di You are. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead and make a liar out of me. Huh. I wonder if it's because the vacuum hopper and the fan are working against each other. I bet you that's the case. So if I build up resonance and break free. Okay. I'm going to get rid of this fan just for a second, just to see. <laughs> fan blows the blocks out towards the middle. Okay, great. So if I get... If I... Let's just break out here. I'm just destroying everything, aren't I? And fan, you go away now. Okay, I'll stand back here and get rid of it. 
Do I need a wrench? What? Can you not? What? Fans? What happened? Okay, the fan got moved. That's great. Good. Okay, so now if I put blocks here. Okay, pig. I didn't ask you to come in here. Go away. Hmm. I do have fans in the corners, but I'm still going to need those. This is. This is unexpected to say the least. <laughs> Okay, um, what I think I'm going to have to do is instead of having the computer there monitoring these three, I'm going to put the computer there underneath that block and another computer there. So I was just trying to cut down the number, number of computers and make it all elegant, but I guess this is okay. So I'll put the computer under there and the other computer under there and then the vacuum hopper where this block is and then there should be no problems. Um, so I'll be back with you when I've done that. And we're back and I've collected some of the stuff I need. So let's go ahead and uh, do this. So you can see I've punched out some holes for the computers. Um, if I come up here, now the one unfortunate thing is that, that's really annoying in my hand, one un unfortunate thing is that if I um, try to put an item duct right here, of course, right here, there we go, you'll see it connects up to everything, and that is not what I want. So I can actually go through here and ah, put that there, that there, and that there to prevent them from connecting. Of course, this is going to bother me because it's not on the same level as everything else. Go back by one. There we go. Okay. Perfect. So now you can see that the item deck did not connect to everything. So we can go ahead and come down here and connect it up to there. And I guess I have one extra impulse. All right. Now I can do the same thing with the fluid ducts. Let's go ahead and come up here. Um, actually, it's might as well put on the hopper while we're here. Put the hopper there. Um, hey, hopper, you should have a bottom output for items. Great. And then you should have a side output for XP. Great. All right. And then we'll put that there, there. We need to change these guys to output and output. We need to get the pneumatic servos on our bar. This is a lot easier than it was the first time around, because I'm better prepared, I guess. I don't know. Um, perfect. All right, so that's pulling that out. Where'd these guys are? They're over there. Eight. And we come down here. Oh, boy. Those fans. Okay, so I already put that other fan back. I don't remember if that was on camera. And that is indeed pulling liquid XP out of the hopper. Oh, gosh. Go up. There we go. Okay. Because <laughs> if we look in here at the XP... Oh, wait, there's no XP in it. Oh, well. Okay, so I already put the fan back, but I didn't put this thing back. Let's go ahead and boom. Okay, so the fan's back behind there. That's perfect. Okay, let's... Uh, don't know why I have one abyssal block, so we won't even use it. I need an orange one, don't I? I would prefer, like, a grayish one to cover that up so it fits the look of these other other ones. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, let's go get a, let's go get a, oh gosh, let's go get a stone. Okay, well I turned some of these to right click so they wouldn't attack me. Obviously I didn't turn them all. Um, why did I just turn that back? Let's leave that on right click so we can exit via stage left, or right even. Exit stage right. Okay, go over here to my micro blocks and see if I have anything that would fit. The marble might look okay. Basalt, no. That won't look right. What I really need is some piece of stone or something like that. Um, let's go get a piece of stone. Get one piece. Go over here. I think I have a saw in here. I do. Great. Let's just chop that all the way down to a panel size. Great, okay. So if we come back over here, I just want to make sure I have no covers down in here. Oh, I got these guys. Cool. Oh, look, look at all the stuff I have in there. Okay. And a light. I have a light in there. <laughs> Didn't need half that stuff, but oh well. Okay, uh, let's fly back up, see if we can make it. I made it! First try. Okay. Um, let's put this block there. Nope. Let's put it there. I did it. I got it. Don't worry. That one there. Perfect. 
that one there and there. There's really no reason for having certain colors underneath things are going to get covered up, but oh well. Okay, um, yes, and wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, right, i got to put the computers down. Derp a derp. <laughs> That's why I had those ripped out. I already did that for some reason. Okay, what are you? You are southeast. So you go there. No. You don't face that way. You face... <sighs> Please, you're on right click. You're on right click. <laughs> Tell you what, guys. This is why I don't very often do th this sort of stuff on camera. I took off my boots so I can walk over here and I get stuck. Perfect. The hopper grabbed it. No! No, it's down there now. <laughs> this is really frustrating. Okay, you're there. Great. So, paste bin. Get the program. Great, I had it. Save it into startup. Perfect. Edit. Startup. Perfect. Again, I'm going to go over this code at the end of the video. I know some of you do not want to... Is that me? What happened there? Uh... Number of devices is one. Perfect. For device number one, it is on the right. Perfect. Okay. Then I have to remove the references to these other guys because they don't exist, actually. Okay. Um, the energy diffuser is in relation is to the north north. Okay, go down one home, remove these references, so I'm just commenting them out. That's all I'm doing here. Um, I wish, wish I had made advanced computers so I could um, so I could just click around inside of the fields without having to use my arrow keys, but that's okay. So now I'm just going down through and removing all the other references. What are, what are, what are those? Whoa, hold on. What's going on here? Home. What are you? What's going on? Why are you, why are there dry, dryads? Why are there dryads here? Why are there chickens? Everything is attacked. What's going on? All right. Um, oh gosh. I hope this doesn't summon that one R's Magicka boss. Why are there so many? Go away. Go, go away. Go, go. Chicken, are you not actually, you're not actually here. Okay. That was, that was weird. All right. Um, back to this. <laughs> Initializations. Okay, I'm done with that. Save. Exit. Start up. Please work. No tool. Good. End of cycle one. We'll wait ten seconds just to make sure it goes through cycle two. Perfect. Excellent. Great job. Gotta go down there. You know how I can get down there? Like that. <laughs> Give me this. Give me my computer back. Give me those things back. Give me those things back. Let's see if we can fly back up. Fly back up. Better. Perf. Perfect. Okay, so that goes there. This computer goes there. I did it. I did it, you guys. It's all working out. Okay. Pay spin. Get. Stuff. Uh, what, what was I calling it? Startup. Because that way it starts up when the computer starts up. Ha -da -da. Edit startup. we got to change the same stuff here. So we go down. Um, oh, the lag busters are five seconds. I want the lag buster to be it. 10 seconds, because that's, you know, doesn't need to check that often. Number of devices is 1. It is indeed on the left. Good job. We will do this. Remove the references. No, go over there. Okay. It is on the north. Go up. Go home, over there. Home, over there. Go through and remove all the other references. Man, I tell you what, building stuff on camera is, it's kind of stressful. Uh, I, I don't usually do it because, you know, one, I can't organize my thoughts that well. It's really hard for me to uh, walk and chew bubblegum at the same time, as they say. Um, you know, to, to, to actually do technical things, especially technical things like this, where if you mess up, you have one little slip up, everything everything stops working. Uh, so, control T here. Um, everything would stop working. And of these, see, right here, I'm, my brain's already giving me little brain farts. And I don't really want that. 
um, I don't want everything to stop working. So that's why I just want to concentrate and make sure I do everything right the first time, and then I can talk to you guys. That's what that's why I usually do. This is what I built. Let me talk about it. Type videos, and let me run startup here. Okay. Good. You're going through cycles. Are you going to go through cycles? Please go through a cycle. Good. All right. Um, I have that. I have that. Let's see. Let's cover up this guy with that. This guy with that. This guy with that on that level. And does the marble look best? Or does the stone look best? Hmm. The marble might actually end up looking best. Marble. That's the marble look. Oh, the hopper's going to suck it back up. I should have done that last. Goodbye. Or the stone look. You know, it's 6 and 1, and so I don't have to go back down and fetch it. I'm going to leave it as the stone. Okay. Perfect. Let's switch these back to uh, left click. Left click for you too. Go ahead and have a tool. You go ahead and have a tool. You too. You can have a tool. Everyone gets a tool today. Tool for you. That's all my tools. No one gets any more tools. Alright, and now let's get some dirt blocks on my bar to just make sure that this thing actually sucks up all the items. Good, it sucked it up from over here. Sucked it up from over there. Sucked it up from over there. I told you it could suck up things through micro blocks. <laughs> Made a liar out of me the first time. It was just that fan pushing him around. Yeah, it seems that it can suck stuff up from every side, which is perfect. Okay, good. I'm glad that works. Um, I'm positive the sewer will work. I don't need to test that. I've done lots of stuff with sewers in the past. Uh, I need food now. Eat. Okay, I think that's everything I needed to do here, right? That's every everything I needed to do. That was a lot of Ds. Did it, did it, did it. Go down here, go back down to the bottom. How did that chicken, how did those dryads get inside? It must have spawned up top. Hmm. Okay. I guess dryads don't care. I don't even know. Alright, um, right, so that's all working, that's all working. Everything seems to be working. Let's look inside this chest. Get that back out. Chicken. Chicken can come back out. <laughs> eggs, why are there eggs in here? Stupid eggs and feathers. Why are there feathers in here? There's so many things that don't belong. Oh, that hopper just sucks everything up. Okay. Now, my inventory is a mess. Oh, well. Alright, let's go and turn on the system and see if it actually works. I pray that it actually works. What? Dryads! Stop showing up. Stop. Stop it. Just, just stop. Just, just stop. Go away. I don't want you here. Oh, look. Give me a life essence. Interesting. Good job. Okay. <sighs> Maybe it's because of the grass. Maybe they're just like, oh my gosh, that grass is just so nice. I want to stand by it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to miss all the elevators again. I'll use that one. That's okay. <laughs> Let's put my boots back on. So I can move fast again. Alright. Oh, look at that. Everything's working. All the items are getting sucked up. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. You have no idea. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, all the all the guys are getting killed. It looks like all the items are getting sucked up. It looks like all the XP is getting sucked up. Oh boy, you guys. I'm I'm really happy this is working. And then this is actually what I wanted. When the witches fall down. They're going to get... Is my volume okay, by the way? Yes. The witches, uh, when they fall down, are going to get damaged, so they're going to drink a health potion, and if they get killed while they're drinking the health potion, then I get the health potion. Hooray! Oh my gosh, you guys. All right, let's go turn that off. Um, all right, so the next step here is, uh, is I am going to make sure that this thing sucked everything up, and now I gotta load up Open Broadcast S System. Is that what it's called? OBS, uh, so that down two, 
so that I can show you guys the program I can record with somebody on the desktop. Why is there XP sitting there? That Blaze must have, must have seen me, and that's why he's flying up. He's not actually all the way down at the bottom there. He's he's, he's up topper, higher. Up topper. Yep, he's up topper. Oh, okay, there's X few. There's X piece in there because this these two must be full. Yes, they're both full. Okay, so if I grab this one and swap it out with, let's say, that one. Put that down there. Put that down there. Yeah, okay, it's, it's sucking everything up again. Phew! All right, I was like, oh, why isn't the XP getting sucked up? Great. Okay, so this this system's entirely full. All that stuff is working. Hooray! Oh my gosh, you guys, I gotta rip that out. Yeah. Okay. So I gotta boot up OBS so I can show you in the Lua editor. Um, also talk about where you can download that Lua editor. It's so nice. It's through Eclipse. Um, yeah. Is did that did that guy end up dying? Do I need to go down here and get rid of him? Yes, he died. No, don't kill me. <laughs> okay. Whoo, guys. Well, there you go. I built something on camera. Never again. <laughs> I'm never building anything on camera ever again. That's a lie. I might I might do that again someday. But uh now now you've seen my process. It's uh it's not the most organized one ever, but oh well. And uh for those of you who don't want to stick around to check out the code, to check out how everything works, um I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good day. And for those of you that do, I'll be back with you in a second.